Tech Cocktail here delivering happiness on the happiness bus at South by Southwest. Excited to be joined by Robert Scoble. I mean, I've been following you for years. You're as you know, the author of uh, Naked Conversations and just a really well-known blogger of you know, your time at Microsoft and everything else. But now you are basically going out and finding innovations for Rackspace. Is yeah, that correct? Absolutely. Can you share a little bit about what you do? Yeah, the, well, I, I uh, live in Silicon Valley. I grew up in, in Silicon Valley. My dad was an engineer, and I've always been into shiny new things. You know? And uh, <laughs> and so I get I have built a, a life where I get to go around the world and uh, meet with CEOs and, and geeks who are uh, building the future. Finding something new that's uh, that will change the world, you know, finding the Twitter, the Facebook, the uh, Foursquare, uh, the Flipboard, right? I was one of the first people to, to see Flipboard in the world. Um, and that, yeah, it's just fun to, it's fun for me to see new technology and how it's changing society and find something for me to use in my everyday life and then share it with people. And it's a lot of fun. I, I usually do videos, so I carry around a, a Canon 5D Mark II and uh, go and shove it in people's faces and say, show me what you're doing. Yeah. There's certainly people who are, you know, like Doug Engelbart when I met him, uh, he showed us the Macintosh when I was a baby, you know, in 67, you know, um, and it didn't ship until 84. So he saw a world in his head and built it and now we're all using it. And that, that, those are the people I, I really look up to and that, that I like to hang out with and talk with. And that's why I like coming here to South by Southwest because there's so many people who are trying to build like, you know, even a little, it might seem like an in, in, insignificant iPhone app, but you know, it takes on and helps people do something new. And all of a sudden you see it everywhere. Mobile and, and slates, uh, you know, the iPad uh, and all of its competitors. I'm carrying around a, a Motorola Zoom here. Um, yeah, that, that, that's where the fun part of the industry is and, and where the real innovation is happening because there's a new platform and people are still trying to figure out what, what can we do with this iPhone. And, you know, especially as more and more people get into this new world, either an Android phone or an iPhone or a... Windows Phone 7, you know, a modern day smartphone. What can we do with that? And uh, people are continuing to show me stuff that was like, well, I didn't know that. I'm not a chat guy. I, you know, I was. I, I was one of the first people in the world to use ICQ, uh, which became, you know, the instant messaging thing. And today I, I'm, I'm looking for something different, a little, you know, a little bit further than just chat, because chat, it's fun when you do it with three or four people, but as you get more and more people into your chat, it, the utility of it goes down and the uh, the usefulness of it goes down. Education is undergoing some pretty significant changes that people are just starting to recognize. There is significant stuff happening, and is we're going to see a, a lot of uh, disruption in the education world. As more and more people get iPhones and the kids get iPhones or something that looks like an iPhone, uh, an Android phone, whatever it is, there's going to be a revolution inside the classroom in, in terms of learning. In a startup, you have to have everybody rowing in the same direction. Otherwise, you're not going to get there. You only have a year to figure it out, and everybody has to be pulling in the same direction. <laughs>